Hi, welcome back to um, another video on amateur radio. Now, uh, this is a video that I wasn't actually planning on doing, but uh, when I told a few people what I was going to get, um, they said, oh, Mike, make a video of it. So anyway, um, while I was out on my travels this week, I picked up one of these. Okay, it's a box. And it's the box for a radio called a TM7. Now, when I say radio, uh, probably a few of you will know the TM7. And instantly you'll be saying, Mike, that's not a radio. Okay, so let me just tell you a little bit about it. So, this is the radio. Here we go. And as you'll see, there's no depth to it because it's not really a radio. It's more of a mobile phone, actually, just in the, the kind of case of a radio. So, you know, you've got all the kind of knobs and dials that you'll expect to see on a normal radio. But this is a little bit different. As I say, this is more of a mobile phone. So it's Android based. And basically it gives you the ability to run apps on it, just as you would on your mobile phone or your tablet. So for instance, the, the main reason why I got this was because in the car, when I'm doing lots of miles, I just want to have a chit chat. I'm not bothered about DX on HF, not worried about discovering a new DXCC that I've never spoken to. Obviously, I'm not really bothered about doing FT8 or anything like that. Unfortunately, two meters is very sporadic and quite quiet, and even the, the repeaters tend to be plagued by uh, some people. So what I do tend to use more often than not, if I just want to chit chat, is um, a service called Hubnet. Now Hubnet is kind of like um, a group, a talk group if you like, and it's on the All Star system. And basically you can talk to people all over the world that are signed in to this Hubnet group. Now here at home, and I'll just show you what I've got at home just so that you can visualize uh, my system. So this is, um, this is my radio here. It's an FTM 400. And um, this normally does me two meters. And um, well, it can do 70 cents, but I don't. But this is my radio that I've got transmitting on 70 cents with a tone so that I can get into what's called um, my node. Now, I'm not gonna bother to show you my node because it's under the desk and you won't see it. But basically it's just a, it's just a box. It's just a, a project box with a, a Bofeng radio in it and a, a load of other circuitry that's created by a great guy called Pete, who's called whose uh, call sign is G7RPG. I'll just give you a quick look under the... Uh... So anyway, um, when I'm here in the shack, I've got the, uh, I've got the FTM 400. I'll just turn it up just so that you can hear it because I can see that there's somebody transmitting. So it's amateurs only, so you've got to be licensed anywhere in the world. And, um, and, and literally you can be talking onto the Hubnet network using RF. So there was a guy there that was driving down the motorway and, uh, and he, could have been using, he could have been using RF talking into his local repeater. I'll just turn that down. So he could have been using RF talking into his local repeater, which is enabled um, to connect to the, um, the All-Star network. Um, or otherwise, he could have been using his phone. So his mobile phone using the Echo Link app. Um, you can get into Hubnet that way. Or alternatively, he may have been using a radio with a SIM card in it. Because this little radio here as I say, is, is a mobile phone basically. So I can fit a SIM card into this, or you can buy handy versions of them. So you just put the SIM card in and then you talk as though it's a radio, but the radio waves are not going by the medium that we know, they're actually going by the cellular system. Or the other way that they could connect, like I do when I'm in the motorhome, is I put my RPG node in the motorhome. It tethers to my Wi-Fi that's in the motorhome, 
so therefore we've got an internet connection. And with the other FTM400 that I've got in the motorhome, I talk via RF, that goes into the node, and then it gets put out onto the internet. So that's basically how it all works. Now then, a little bit more about this radio. So, straight away, if you look at it, you think it's a radio, okay? I'm not going to put a SIM in here. I'm going to just use it tethered to my mobile phone for Wi-Fi, just to give me uh, internet connection. So what you'll actually see on there, just like you do on your mobile phone, you've got apps, okay? And if I just tap one of those apps, if I tapped this one here, which is the Echo Link icon, that will actually start up Echo Link, I think, yep. Starting up Echo Link. And then in Echo Link, you've got various different places you can go. If you know anything about Echo Link, you'll know that you can go into Echo Link enabled repeaters. So, for instance, one of the places that I've got as a favourite on mine is GB3NC, which is Cornwall. And if I just click on it and then tap Connect, Okay, so now we actually are on the North Cornwall repeater. This is Mike Zero, X-Ray Mike X-Ray, in Burton-on-Trent in the Midlands, connecting to NC through Echolink. I wonder if there's anybody there that can just give me a quick report. M0XMX, standing by. Okay, so that will have come out of the NC repeater. So if you've got a local repeater that is Echo Link enabled, then you can do that. Wherever you are in the world, you can talk into that repeater using Echo Link. So that's really brilliant. Um, let's, okay, so what we're doing now is we're connecting to the Hubnet network. That's tomorrow, uh, from 9 till 3, so we'll see whether anything drops out, but IRK okay, drops off the network for some reason, but it's back on now, over. So there you go, that's the sort of quality that you can, that you can get. Um, now obviously don't forget, some of these people will be connecting via RF, so some of them might be a bit scratchy, some of them might be up and down because they're mobile, but <clears throat> the, the great thing about number one Echo Link is you can access it through both RF and also through the internet. And also the great thing about Hubnet is it's a group where like-minded people come, talk throughout the day, throughout the night, from all over the world. You know, you'll get VK stations in there, you'll get all sorts of different locations from within America in there. Not that many in, in Europe in actual fact, but quite a lot. Because it's a, Hubnet is a, is a UK-centric um, network, you'll get quite a lot of people from the UK in there. So anyway, um, yeah, this little radio, let me just tell you a little bit more about it. You've got these user-defined buttons on the front, so you can actually program these buttons to do whatever you want. Uh, as I say, it's an Android phone, basically. On the back of there, you've got two SMA connectors, one of which is for um, the GPS antenna, and the other one is for a uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Um, what else to tell you? It's got mounting brackets, uh, so you can actually mount it just exactly the same as you would a normal radio. Underneath you've got a SIM card slot, so you can put a SIM card in there directly. And then over here we've just got your 12, 24 volt power lead. That's it, it's very, very light. Um, and it, it really is a good quality radio. As I say, I've bought this to put in the car. And also, I can move it and put it in the motorhome. So it's very easy to plug in. At the end of this red wire, there's a, a cigarette lighter attachment. And, uh, and yeah, I'm really pleased. The microphone is just a normal PTT type microphone with a connector on the back to hang it. And uh, yeah, I'd like to say thank you very much to Moonraker as well for doing me a great deal on this radio. A uh, quick break, please. Quick break. This is Mike Zero, X Ray Mike X Ray. Uh, just testing a radio. If you could just give me a quick uh, check, quick audio check, that would be lovely. M Zero X M X, standing by. Yeah, afternoon. Is that Mike? I think it's Mike. Uh, 
get yourself in okay to me. Uh, are you on your is it the TM7 Plus? Uh, I wonder. Uh, it's called ZWH. Uh, name's Robert. Yeah, right to that, Robert. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of a video for it. I did promise a few people that I'd do a video just showing what it was. And yeah, I'm really impressed with it, to be honest. So yeah, thanks for coming back to the call. I won't keep it because I know that you guys are in the middle of something that sounds uh, quite intense. But I just wanted to uh, just make sure that it was working and, and just actually film me using it. So thanks a lot for that, Robert. I'll let you carry on from M0XMX over. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I say, it's not the latest, greatest radio on the market, but it's still relevant, and hopefully the subject was of interest to you. If you have found it interesting, then why not go over to my YouTube channel and have a look at a few of the other videos that I've made. There's a good few hundred on there now, and you might find something on there that you find interesting. Take care, thanks for watching, bye for now.